This is the Blue Bowl Vortex Pro, and I'm going to show you exactly what it comes with. Starting off, we've got the pre-fitted thread converter, which has been watertight with sealant. The idea behind that is when you're screwing on your inlet flow valve or your hose connection, it reduces the stress on the actual bowl. And so worst case scenario, you break this sacrificial fitting, essentially. So we'll chuck on the inlet flow valve. That just controls your water flow. You can really dial that in. It's nice and easy to turn. A super easy uh, male coupling, 16 mil to clip on there. So that will suit either a garden hose or the recirculation system. We've got the sliding legs. So you've got your three leg rails here. They go in from the inside. Simple as that, that helps suit different diameter buckets. We've got your leg leveling kit system, plus your three disc lockers. And for the optional add-on, you've got your Seaflow bilge pump with the pre-plumbed hose. That's got the, uh, the coupling, which simply just plugs onto there. And then we're also throwing in a little clean up bundle, sniffer, vial, and a bit of pay dirt. I'm gonna give you a rundown on the Vortex Pro's sliding leg system. So I've designed this so that you can slide your legs in and out, just to match the different top diameters of your various size buckets. So we'll start with this 20 litre bucket right here. Um, you just slide your leg to match up onto the leg levelers. It slides into that notch there, which gives it some stability. And then you just slide your other legs on just to match. So it sits on there nicely. It's super helpful just to match the different diameters of your buckets. You know, you can use big buckets all the way down to your smaller ones as well. You're not restricted in what size buckets this is compatible with. So we wanted to make the plumbing for this blue bowl as easy as possible so that anyone at home or if they're out in the gold fields doing a recirc set up that it's just super easy to plug and play. So we've got the critical parts that have been sealed with thread sealant, and then you've got the inlet, inlet flow control valve. The pump has a 16 mil female coupling, but it's the same as any other garden hose. Simply just plug that on, you've got your control valve open, and then turn on the power. Blue Bowl Vortex Pro it comes with a full set of leg levelers. These are absolutely crucial in making sure you can get your Blue Bowl 100% level before you begin. So I'll just show you quickly how they work. The sliding legs just slot onto those notches. And these discs, you can spin them up and down and that will alter your level. So it'll raise that side of the Blue Bowl. We've also got these three disc lockers. They go onto each little screw here, but you just thread that on that locks your level into place, and it also secures your blue bowl on your bucket. Once you've got all three of them on, it's not going anywhere. So on the Vortex Pro, we've engineered it, so it's got 24 separate step rings. So if you spoon gold onto the outer rim, it's gonna work its way up 24 incremental mini steps until it can reach the cone. So it's really good because these go with the flow of the water and they don't disrupt the vortex pressure um, and it also just allows the gold to bunch up and it causes friction on the bottom of this base. So one thing I couldn't stand with the old blue bowls is that you'd have it on half tilt for your inlet flow and it would be spilling and overflowing, there'd be material flying out of the bowl. So with this I wanted to design it so that it could actually handle higher flows and therefore coarser materials, make your clean outs a bit faster as well. So we've made the geometry of the bowl able to handle more water. So you can crank the flow without the chaos. The water's gonna rise. We've got this inner rim lip in here, which just helps splash a little bit of water back and it helps indicate when it's at max capacity. So this is 20 mesh heavies right here, ironstone and gold. You can put that in and the blue bowl easily moves that around and just leads to um, much faster cleanups for your coarser materials. 
All right, so we've got some 50 mesh material here, and I'm just going to demonstrate how effective the Vortex Pro is of retaining and capturing your fine gold while expelling your waste material. So I'll spoon this in here as close to the wall as possible. You can already see that spinning around. It's agitating, it's work. The loose and light material is working its way to the centre cone. I'll spoon feed the rest of this in and we'll dial in the water flow and we'll check back in in a few minutes time. All right, so not even 60 seconds later, after spoon feeding that material in, we can see it did really well. It's gotten rid of all the light material. There's a couple of little bits of black sand and ironstone kind of stuck on the rim, but all that gold, it's just stuck to the outside, which is where we spoon fed it. I spoon fed it probably here and it's traveled a little bit, but it's stuck to the outside. Very little of it has actually worked its way up the 24 step rings. So that has done an exceptional job at capturing 50 mesh gold. And that flow was on pretty high then as well. I've just cranked the flow just to demonstrate what actually happens to the gold when it starts traveling. What happens is it starts bunching up in its rings. So you can see that, you know, it essentially just leaves a line of gold and it's super easy just to grab your sniffer, run it along that line and you can just suck up that gold super easy. All right, so now that the cleanup is done with the Vortex Pro, we need to sniff up our gold. Usually you, it's gonna be scattered around, so a little trick just to get it condensed into one area so you can just do a couple of good sniffs with your sniffer bottle. So you take it off, get rid of a little bit of water out of there, but not all of it. And you can almost just use it like a pan and you can shake that gold down to one side. The other option is with your sniffer bottle, instead of sucking, you just use it to blow. So use it to blow that gold back down to the bottom. Once everything's kind of past the halfway of the cone, then it's a lot easier to shake it and get it all down to the bottom there. And then you should have a bit of luck. We're just doing a couple of big sucks with your sniffer bottle and you'll have most of it into your bottle.